today's video, I have a Violet Voss Essentials palette video for you guys. Now, I've never tried Violet Voss, but I know it's a really good brand. Everyone raves about it on the internet, and I've never been able to try it. But my lovely friend Janine sent this to me from Canada. It retails for $36 US dollars, uh, or yeah, $36 US dollars. And I'm excited to try it. Like, I haven't got the box, so I can't judge it on the packaging of the box. But the packaging on the outside, it's pretty simple. It's a very lightweight palette. Looks really nice, plain and simple. Uh, it's got all the details on the back. I like this kind of rose goldy writing. I think it's really cute. And essentials there. So looking at this, I'm assuming that it's got all these colors in it. Kind of these like darker, matte kind of vibes, which I thought, you know blends in with my whole look this is like my whole aesthetic in a color palette right here so i'm excited to see what it looks like so this is in here okay literally me this color palette is how do you describe me like some kind of like colorful minion um yeah i'm i'm excited to try these colors these look really nice and pretty a lot of nude tones as well so for 36 dollars let's see if this is worth the price points I'm gonna swatch on my spear on this one I can't swatch on but like we can we can swatch on this one here so I'm going to swatch shade black here let's see how black it is okay nice shade cinnamon okay they're swatching good you've got to remember though the natural oils on my fingers as well will be contributing to this it's a nice color. I like that sheeny color. The dusty rose looks nice. Nice dusty rose here. Put that here. This is the most awful swatching of all time. That one I'm going to re-swatch because I don't know if it's just because of where I placed it. No, that one is quite chalky. Okay, that's right. All right, we have our like, second shimmery shade, which is this kind of pink here. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. I need to wash my hands. It's the pigment sticking. I've been scrubbing at my arm and it's like not coming off. So very, very pigmented. Those darker shades there, which is awesome. I'm trying to get it all off my fingers too. Nice clean fingies. All right, let's go for shade Emerald here. Oh, that's nice. Gold, which is right up my alley. Yes. Terracotta. Oh, I love that sand put that here that's nice and then we got shade cream those are really nice too okay so so far it's just this dusty rose that doesn't swatch very well but everything else seems to swatch really good i'm really happy with the pigments there i think that's a really nice color palette i love this that would be a really nice highlighter which i think we should use as a highlighter but anyway i'm going to take my eyes and let's do the eyes first let's kind of move this hair out of the way so that's this okay that this is what we have so far. I've got my little fist curl. My little, uh, what do you call it? Zaki Fron curl. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking I might try the shade Sand because it's a really good, what do you call it? Like transition color. I have put eye primer on my eyes. I know I always said like I didn't really believe in eye primer, but it really just goes to show the color that like, comes out and I, I just love it. I'm obsessed with it. So um, I am using this with eye primer just so you know. All right. I haven't put on eyeshadow in so long. It's actually so weird. I love it. I do really like this color. I think that's a really good transition color. I think it looks really nice on my skin as well. I need to take this off the mirror because I was like, why is it all fuzzy? Hell yeah. She knew now. She knew. Okay. And then I'm thinking for the lid color. I really love this terracotta. You guys know that that orange is slaying my life. So, ooh. Okay. I like how pigmented that is. That's really nice. That's a lovely coverage. And that's a lovely color as well. I like, I love that. Covering the eye. And that transition color blends so much more nicer now. If you want, you could go in and like do more. Just want to try as many of the colors as I can. So I'll use this just a little bit on top just to kind of blend more. And just blend out that line. Back in there with the sand. Okay. And then I'm thinking what I want to do is 
get the shade Cinnamon. I'm going to smoke out that edge there. Oh, these colours go really nicely together. Like, just very nice warm toned. I feel like they blend really well as well. Like, just this eyeshadow in general blends really nicely. It's very buildable too. Like, you would not have to use a lot to, like, get to where you need to go. Okay, so I've used three shades so far. I think that's looking really good. Okay. I'm thinking for the middle of the eye, I'm wanting to try for my shimmer the gold. But then emerald's so pretty too. No, I feel like emerald won't work. So I'm going to get gold on my finger. I'm just going to pat this. Oh, yeah. I know I've literally created, like, just, like, a little sunset eye. But I'm so here for it. I was going to say, is there a purple in here? Yeah, purple. <clears throat> purple always does like the sunset vibes okay that's coming together nicely gold on the other side now this is really pretty i think honestly that's all i need to do with that which is four shades out of this four shades out of the 10 which i think is not too bad if you want you could add some black for the night time like you could put some in there to really darken it up deepen it up but I think, like, oh my god, <gasps> I didn't, like, unsticky that first before I put it on my face. And I just I feel like, oh my god, my eyes are in water. I don't know what. Why did I unstick it? <gasps> Give myself a face lift at the same time. And it's when you, like, go like that. Like, lift your skull. Oh, my hand needs some work. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the rest of my face and we'll come back to this. Alrighty, now that the face is done. We're going to go with under the eyes now. So I'm thinking for under the eyes, we're going to get that cinnamon color, which is that one there, and this little cute little baby brush. And we're just going to go under here like this. Just to add dimension. And I find that this palette is not irritating my eyes, which is fabulous. And then we're going to get that dusty rose shade with the same brush. I guess we can give it some time. See, I think the Dusty Rose actually isn't that bad. Sometimes eyeshadow pigments on, um, what do you call it, on fingers is way different. Now I'm going to get like a highlighty brush and I'm going to get that cream shade. I'm just going to dip in here and we'll see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's really pretty. Okay, perf, perf. Okay, let's put on some mascara and then be right back. And my camera's coming down. But I think that's good. I think it's good. And that is the look all done there. I really like it. I think it's really cute. Definitely matches my aesthetic as well. I think it's really pretty. Like, look at the way the colors all blend together. So I ended up using one, two, three, four, five, six. Six colors out of the ten. Could have used the black to give it some more, like, definition. Pink you could have used in the inner corner. The green, I feel like, is definitely a blind side, but still would be really pretty with those colors. I think it's going to align really nicely, but I just unfortunately didn't use that. So is it worth the $36 price point? Honestly, I think yes, because personally, I gravitate towards these colors. I have a very, like, you know, like, the ginger in my hair, the brown in my hair. Like, I think that these are very complementary colors to me. So if I saw this palette and I didn't own a million palettes already, I would definitely be like, that's the kind of palette that I would like. Because it's got all these kind of, like, neutral colors here. It's got pops of colors and stuff. I think this would be a really, really pretty color. Because I own a thousand palettes, though, it's not something that I would repurchase just because... In my lifetime, I probably won't even finish this palette just because I literally have, like, a hundred palettes. So, yeah, but the these colors is definitely something that I'd reach for if I was just going to buy a palette and didn't own any other palettes. I would get this one because it's a really good staple. I think it would be really good for beginners as well, but also if you want to be a bit more adventurous, you can do that as well. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. But until next time, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!